Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, we are here to do paycheck number two of our March 2020 budget. And I already went to the bank, I have my cash. So we're just going to push this to the side. We have our envelopes here as well. I talked about these in my last budget video if you haven't seen that. I will link it down below, check it out. And then I also am using the Clever Fox budget book. I'm not going to talk in depth and in detail with what's going on in the world because we all know what's happening. Um, my budget is slightly shifted because of COVID-19 and you know not being able to go outside and um, so the budget is going to be slightly modified and shifted because of everything going on all right so if you didn't see my previous budget video then you wouldn't know that my footage of me actually doing my budget got lost so I figured I would show you guys what I did do that you guys didn't actually get to see so I'm gonna zoom in a little tiny bit more so this is pretty much an overview of my March 2020 budget for me and I again I filled all this out on camera and then my video my video my video footage got lost like it just completely I don't know deleted disappeared I have no idea I'm just going to quickly run through what I actually filled in here so obviously you fill in the month and the year March 2020 so for the month of March I wrote down four different goals you don't have to fill it com out completely you can if you want to um, really you can use this how you please um, so for me I wanted to sell at least four items on Poshmark slash Mercari which are selling websites I wanted to make $200 online I wanted to put $200 into my travel sinking fund, and I also wanted to make one additional payment towards debt. Um, moving down, this part right here, is, it's a checklist, and honestly, I don't know if this is something that I particularly like. This is my first time using this Clever Fox budget book, budget butch <laughs> budget book so i'm just figuring out if i like it or not and i'm going to be totally honest with you guys so i wrote down read three budgeting articles account for every expense meal prep my lunches um pay credit cards on time and then i just listed the credit cards i feel like this is also kind of like goals at the same time like you know but it is what it is and i filled i filled it out with this so take it however you wish to take it. Um, down below you have upcoming purchases. I actually really like this because it reminds me of what I do need to purchase. So for the month of March, I knew I had to buy a baker's rack, which is uh, for my kitchen because I just moved into the studio apartment and the kitchen is very small compared to my old apartment. So I knew I needed some more storage. Uh, so baker's rack, new gym membership, drying mat, and a shower caddy. So this other section here is upcoming bills. I... Again, I don't know if this is a section I would truly utilize, but I just wrote down bills that I knew were coming up. I I don't think this is necessary. Down here you have your income. I just covered up my salary. I just don't feel the need to share my full salary with everyone. Um, I feel like being on YouTube, everyone expects you to be completely transparent with no privacy, which I don't think that's very fair. So I appreciate all of you who understand why I don't share my salary. Over here is just a section for your savings, how much you saved for the month. I actually do really like this because I can track what I ended up saving in my sinking funds for the month of March and my savings. So that will be filled out at the end of the month. So over here, let's zoom in a little bit more, should we? Uh, sure. All right, so over here we have monthly budget. So this is pretty much where you write out all of your expenses. And um, I really like this because it has a budgeted section, an actual, and the difference. So I'm gonna fill out pretty much all of my expenses up until uh, my March 25th because that's going to be for the second paycheck uh, which again we're stuffing our cash envelopes with our second paycheck today but I'm, I'm going to put in the actuals with you right now so actuals for rent is 625 that um, was the same so difference there is the same capital one was 25 Ulta which was my credit card um, Apple was 99 cents for storage as per usual. Discover was $60. 
phone bill, um, I always round up for my phone bill, so the actual for my phone bill is $269.55, which means there was a 45 cent difference. And then the rest is going to be coming out um, later this month, which I will fill in with you guys in another video. Um, a few other things uh, that I just wasn't sure about because I just moved, so I wasn't sure when my electric bill was going to be taken out. Um, I just found out that my gas bill is going to be taken out at the end of the month, March 31st, so I put that in there. And then I wrote in gym membership because I was fully intending to go and get a gym membership, but... You know, COVID-19 happened, coronavirus happened, so um, I just, I didn't do that. So that's just not gonna happen. I'm just gonna put a line through that because it's just not gonna happen. So hopefully that will happen in April. Obviously I totaled everything up at the bottom here of all of my actual expenses. And then I even wrote in my variable expenses here because again, I'm trying to figure out how I'm using this budget book and I figured this would be the best place for it. So my variable expenses are my groceries, eating out, entertainment, personal, and Uber and Lyft. So this is kind of what I budgeted for myself for the entire month. Uh, groceries, 150, eating out, 100, entertainment, 100, personal, 150, Uber slash Lyft is 120. Um, and yeah, so that's what I kind of, you know, foresee myself spending for the entire month. And then um, if you watch my last budget video, you saw what I split or budgeted out for that paycheck, um, and then you're gonna see the rest in uh, this video. So, hope that makes sense. The grand total at the very bottom for my entire month's budget is $17.5802. Um, I personally do not do a zero-based budget. A zero-based budget, if you're not familiar, is where you allocate every single dollar of your income to somewhere. I don't do that. I can't do that. I don't feel comfortable doing that. Let me zoom back out for you guys. And I don't do that because I like to always have a cushion in my checking account. I can't have, you know, a hundred dollars in my checking account. It's just, it's just not how I am. I need a cushion just in case. So, um, this is what I work with and take it for what it is, but this is how I do my budget. All right, so moving forward, I'm going to flip and show you guys what's been going on here. So this is your expense tracker. So I've already filled out, obviously, part of the month already. And as you can see, a lot of it is kind of out of order because I started to write in what I was, you know, using for my cash envelopes. And then I realized like, oh my gosh, you know, all this crazy, coronavirus talk was going on and I did like unplanned purchases and then a lot of it came from my card as well. So these are also my, you know, card transactions that I wrote in here just so I can keep track. So it's not completely in order, but hey, it's still there and I have all my numbers here. So in the next budget video, I will be totaling everything out and I'm going to see, you know, where I ended total wise when it comes to what I budgeted. And that's when we're going to fill in the actuals. So all of this right here was spent during March paycheck number one. Now, obviously I filled in most of it, but I figured I would leave a few um, to fill in with you guys. So as you can see, I filled in most of my expenses. Uh, for paycheck number one already, but I did have a few left to fill in and I figured I would just do it with you guys here So just a reminder. These are the same categories that are right here for my variable expenses And I did add another category as you can see which is called other because these were just miscellaneous unplanned purchases um, You can call it other you can call it unbudgeted whatever you prefer so on March 16th I did end up getting gas at Wawa and that is technically it's technically other but I'm going to put it under um, like Uber and Lyft so it's like transportation I'll probably change that category name in April but it's fine we're learning you guys um, so for gas I spent 18 34. I did end up going to Acme, which if you guys are not familiar, Acme is a grocery store. So I'm going to write in groceries. Um, and I spent $38.95. All right. And then this one I just wrote in today because I didn't want to forget it, but this is technically for paycheck number two. So I will fill that with in with you um, in the next video. That's pretty much all of the expenses that had happened from for paycheck number one. 
Now I'm going to flip, there's two pages of expenses. If you guys are curious, I don't spend that much money within a month, clearly. This is half the month already, so. All right, you guys, so now we're going to move on, oops, wrong page, to our sinking funds. This is what I did with you last video uh, for March paycheck number one. So now we're going to do March paycheck number Two, but then also I have my pink sticky note here And this is just reminding myself of what I budgeted for my variable expenses for March paycheck number two you guys can see I had one from March paycheck number one and I did forget to write that this is a cash envelope This is a cash envelope and I typically make personal a cash envelope you guys can see here but nothing's open so I won't be spending you know cash in store so this is actually going to be um left in my bank account i'm not going to pull out cash for it because if i'm going to buy something it's going to be an online purchase so i hope that makes sense for you guys all right so let's just jump right into it for travel for sinking funds for march paycheck number two my goal if you guys didn't remember let's do a quick flip back my goal was to put um $200 into my travel sinking fund for the month. So since I put in 60 last time, I'm putting in 140. And, you know, with all of the, you know, craziness of coronavirus going on, um, I'm still able to work. Thank goodness I work from home. So I'm still able to hit my goal for March, which I'm really thankful for. Um, again, these numbers are going to fluctuate, but um, you guys can see I didn't put in any money for entertainment because, again, we can't go outside. And Uber, Lyft, and gas, again, I'm not going anywhere, so I didn't even stuff these envelopes. So that's been like the biggest, I think, adjustment when it comes to my budgeting. Um, I just, I don't need to put money in these. So a lot of that money is going to go towards my sinking funds instead. So. I'm technically still saving my money. So again, tweak and adjust your budget to how your lifestyle is. Um, okay, so since we have a little bit of extra money, for emergency, I'm going to put in $30 instead of the typical 20. For medical, I'm doing the same thing. I usually did 20, but now I'm gonna do 30 this month, or I'm sorry, this paycheck. Car maintenance, I am keeping at $20. Okay, special occasions, I am going to actually do $20 instead of the 15 that we did last paycheck. Christmas, I am starting to stuff Christmas, so we're going to do $20 for Christmas. Um, and then apartment, I've decided to put away $50 because I know I want to get a few art pieces for my walls. So I want to make sure I have, um, you know, a nice cushion for some art and the frames if I have to buy frames for them. So that is all of my sinking funds and that total is $310. So for my sinking funds, I need $310. For my variable expenses in cash, I just need, I forgot to write it down here, total for cash envelopes is 100. So my total that I need to take out for the bank is $410 is what I need to take out for the bank. So let's go through and figure out our denominations. Just for groceries, I think I'm gonna do all small bills. I'm gonna do two 20s and a 10. Eating out, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do two 20s and a 10. So that's done. Moving on to travel, for 140, I'm gonna do two 50s and two 20s. Emergency is thirty dollars, so that's one twenty and one ten. Medical is another twenty and another ten. Car maintenance is another twenty. Special occasions another twenty. Christmas another twenty. And then apartment, I'm going to do just a full fifty. All right, so we need to take out these denominations here. So that's three fifties, um, eleven twenties, and four. 10s from the banks. All right, everyone, so my camera died. I kind of forget where I left off. I really honestly don't remember, but um, here we are. I'm gonna start by stuffing um, these four, which are the variable expenses. So we'll do these really quick. Obviously, we're only stuffing two of these envelopes because, you know, everything going on, I just don't need that much cash on hand. So for groceries, 
we're doing $50 and if I remember correctly, we said we were doing two 20s, whoops, and a 10. So there's 50 and I'm actually gonna go in, you know, while I'm here with you guys and write it in because last time I didn't do it and all my envelopes got messed up last time anyway. So, and we're putting in $50, all right? So there's that. Okay, the next envelope is eating out. So again, we're gonna do two 20s and a 10 for eating out. So let's just write that in really quick. Okay, put that in here. And if you can hear my um, heat going, it's a little chilly today, so the heat just kicked on. All right, and then obviously entertainment and personal are getting um, nothing in my envelope. So personal will be $50, but that is going to be $50 um, just using off of my you know, debit card. So there's that, and we're pretty much done with this. Now we're moving on to our sinking funds. I, and we're just gonna start at the very top. So for travel, we're going to put in 140. So let's take 100 and then a 20 and a 40. So we should in total have $200, which is our goal. And looks like we do. We have $200 for travel. So let's just write that in really quick here. 200. So exciting, you guys. All right, so let's put this in the envelope. All right, so for emergency, we're putting in $30. So let's just write that in here, plus 30, which in total we now have 50. Does that make sense? Can you guys even see that? I don't even know. Ugh, let's just zoom in a little bit more. I just realized that it might have not been in focus. But anyway, so we're adding 30, we said to this, to have a total of 50. Perfect, so now we have 50 in our emergency sinking fund envelope. Next we have medical, and to medical we're also adding 30 to this, so let's write that in really quick. Plus 30, which now equals $50. So we're adding a 20 and a 10. All right, perfect, so that is 50. I really like these budget sheets more for my sinking funds. Um, I don't really know if I foresee myself really filling out the budget sheets for like my everyday cash envelopes. Car maintenance, we're doing another 20 in here. So let's just write that in. So now we should have a total of $40, which we will. Okay. Next one we have is special occasions, and this is getting another $20. So now we should have a total of $35, which da -da -da, we do. Okay. Christmas. Christmas has nothing in there. So we're going to start the Christmas one today. We're starting off with, what did we say, 20? Yes. So $20 for Christmas. Boom. And then the last one we have here is apartment. And for our apartment, we're starting that today as well. And we are adding 50 which gives us a total balance of 50. Okay, we are good to go. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much all of my envelopes that I have here for um, March paycheck number two, all the stuffings, everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I will be doing a check-in with you guys um, next week, the end of next week, and see you know what I did spend um, from these two envelopes because obviously these two 
we're not stuffed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button and hit the notification bell so you know when my videos are posted. And follow me on Instagram if you would like. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.